Today we're going to go over how to set up a plate or a single run on the neon mask electric duration system. So to set up an individual run, we would want to select quick run. And you'll see that there's an indicator here that just spun briefly that's going to confirm that there's not bubber, bubbles or tip connection error or anything like that in our sample, which we already have set up. You would then want to select your protocol, which you can modify manually doing this, or you can go ahead and select a protocol from the library. Now they'll all be listed here. You can also go ahead and scan through the optimization protocols, the cell specific, or if you have your own saved on here, they would be listed here, which you can save up to 10,000 protocols on here. There are currently over 300 protocols preloaded on here, which we can simply search through and select the one we're looking for. From there, we would go ahead and electroporate, given that we have this blue circle here, which means everything is good to go. You'll see a green indicator light, and we'll get a green check mark indicating that we had successful electroporation. At that point, we would then be able to take our sample out and dispense it into media. Another thing that we can do is set up or open a previously saved plate. So to create a new plate, we can select our plate type, and then we can select an entire column if we wish, or an entire row simply by clicking the number or the letter, or we can drag to highlight multiple. And then select assign a protocol, at which point it will take us back to where we can manually add it in or we can select a protocol from the library. We select a different protocol, you will notice that they will be two different colors in the wells and that's because it's color coded. If you select a well, it will tell you what the parameters are and once you have your plate set up correctly, you can go ahead and save your plate for future use, or you can go ahead and tell it next to proceed. From here, we would see a exclamation point if there was any error or potential errors, and we don't here, so that means we can go ahead and proceed with electric grading. We will see a spinning circle on the well in a green light, we got a green check mark and a page that tells us that the electric operation was complete and it's now safe to remove the pipette in the sample. Another feature of the Neon Next instrument is where you can import protocols or plates saved on Transfection Lab on Thermo Fisher Connect simply by selecting Import and then either connect through Thermo Fisher Connect if you have Instrument Connect set up between the instrument and Thermo Fisher Connect, or by USB drive by downloading the plates or protocols onto a USB from Thermo Fisher Connect files. You can simply select USB drive and then select the protocols or plates you would like to import. So selecting that, we're going to go ahead and say electroporate. You'll see the green indicator light. Oh, it looks like we got an error. So the way that we know that there's an issue is we're gonna get a red X here, well, a red circle with an X in it. Now to understand what happened, we would tap it and it's gonna tell us that we, the protocol encountered an error. It's gonna specifically tell us that arcing was detected. So that means that our sample unfortunately had arcing and that the cells are likely no longer see the spinning over circle over the well and a green light and again now we had unfortunately we had parking um, again if we tap it it will tell us what that error is and it's going to tell us that parking was detected another error or issue may be when you drop the pipette 
you receive an exclamation point here. If you tap it, it will tell you that there, the sample will not be electroporated because there, the tip was not attached correctly or that the sample may have bubbles. That's when you would need to go back and recheck and make sure that the sample does not contain bubbles um, or remix your cells and 